I want to talk to you today about how to safeguard your WordPress admin area. I'm going to give you four tips that you can do as a beginner that will give you a good, solid, secure WordPress admin area without doing anything extra that's advanced. There are a few extra advanced steps that you could take but I'm not going to give those to you. This should be sufficient to get you started to where you should not have any issues. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress admin area at the top where you would log out on the right hand side. Hit that little scroll down right there and then go to your account. Under your account, by default, it's going to give you admin. First thing you want to do is change that admin. Don't give it your name, give it something different. So that's going to be your new username. Then you're going to want to generate another strong, secure login to make sure that you're going to have something different than what they sent you by email. So that's going to be the first two steps you want to take. The third step you're going to want to take is you're going to want to get a tool and a pl plugin that is called limit login attempts okay activate that and then set it from to three to five and what's gonna happen is once they hit that limit it's gonna lock them out so those are three steps that you can take now the fourth and final step I'm gonna give you to secure your website would be to get an SSL certificate if you go to your web hosting dashboard, sometimes you can get a deal to where you're not spending as much if you just go find one on your own. So those be the four things that I would recommend you do to ensure that your website is secure. If you want, you can also do this fifth and final thing, okay? You can go into your WordPress and you can either download a tool that's called WordPress Defense, which you can scan your own website with, or what you would want to do, and this is what I would recommend you do, is go to your WordPress host, see if they have site lock on there that they can give you a deal for. You can get a site lock badge on your website and get your website scanned daily for malware for $1.99 to $2.99 a month it's really a great deal and it's gonna have the badge with the date saying your site secure it's an extra level of security for your visitors if you're gonna be selling something online so those would be the five things that I would recommend you do I would recommend you go get that site lock badge over getting the actual tool and scanning it yourself because that's just something else you have to spend time doing on a day in and day out so those would be my recommendations for you, the five things to do to secure your website.